Rong tu mesti sel sel hang. Niem ke aku zapa. Tunggu ni. Anjing gua zak kam kau ha. Zak kam mak manuk zapang. Tunggu ni nak tak? Mak kang dam demi. Zak manuk ung zak hati yang hati. Ah mana sokku kepade? Ya nara. Garo Hills is a small corner in the northeastern part of India nestled in the foothills of the Himalayan mountain range. Before the word of God came to the Garo Hills, the people of Garo Hills were a savage tribe who were notorious for their head hunting and blood drinking. They were so uncivilized and wild that the British administrators of the East India Company thought the Garos were not worth the effort to colonize and that they should be in the late 1960s, the government of India felt that missionaries were corrupting the indigenous customs of the tribal people and forced all missionaries coming from foreign countries to leave India, due to which the last serving American missionary had to leave Garo Hills in 1971. Since then, the number of baptized members has grown to over 270,000 and the number of churches has grown more than 2,000 in Garo Hills. church and all of these that have traveled uh, with our group to come to meet with the Garo people. As partners in ministry with the Garo Baptist Convention, our desire is to build relationships that will lead others to Jesus Christ. Many of our Garo brothers and sisters have been transformed because our American friends, just like in the past, brought the word of God to them, often even helping with the day-to-day -day work of the villagers and sharing stories of our Lord and Savior. There is only one way to God, and that is through the cross of Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, had to, I had to make that path myself, and your daughter wants to make that path also. And I pray that someday you will take that journey through Jesus Christ. In 2007, a mass baptism with over 200 Garos were baptized in the river where the first Garo was baptized. In recent times, however, Garo Hills has been facing many problems. These problems are due to corruption in the government, leading to unemployment, which in turn leads to an insurgency epidemic. The corruption in the government has also led to our society's underdevelopment, often leading to frustration and despair for our Garo people. Despite these problems, God continues to give his blessings to the Garos. The Garos are grateful to everyone who show their support with their visits, gifts and their prayers. We thank each and every one of you for your love and for your support. And we ask that you continue to pray for us so that one day we can all rejoice together in the kingdom of heaven.